Okay, let's turn it on. Listen to that. What amazing music. I think I love retro games. I think I love retro games. I think I love retro games. Hello, it's Jace at Retro Games, and today we're going to talk about Astro Wars. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what's the point of this channel? Doing all the common stuff. When are you going to do all the rare things? Well, they'll come. We're going to cover the rare things, but we need to cover some of the basics. And Astro Wars was one of the biggest tabletop electronic games in the UK. Um, I don't think it was as big in the rest of the world. It wasn't called Astro Wars everywhere. But Grandstand took the Epoch game and they made our version of it. Astro Blaster, I think, in the, in the US. But... Retro Facts! Imported and rebranded by Admiral Electronics under the Grandstand label, Astro Wars is believed to be the first electronic game to sell over 1 million units in the UK. Epoch, the original Japanese developers, took their inspiration from the 1979 Namco coin op Galaxian, and not the Italian Astro Wars coin op made by Zachariah. Often referred to as LED tabletops, games like Astro Wars actually use a vacuum fluorescent display, or VFD. These glass encased displays offer a bright multicoloured screen, but one small crack or chip renders them dead and unrepairable. What a game. I mean, look at the casing. It's a beautiful thing. Now this game, I talk about quite a lot. Um, and it's a little bit associated with the toilet. Um, because in an interview I did about 15 years ago, I said this was the game that I used to play in the toilet uh, as a kid. So take it in, it's brilliant, it's perfect size, you could, you could and I'd be sitting there um, enjoying myself, uh, having a space battle while my body was letting things loose. Uh, which is a strange thing to do. But this game, you don't need to be on the toilet to enjoy this game. I'm going to put some batteries in it and show you. You know when you've got to wrestle the batteries into their cover? Stay in! Stay in! Oh. Oh. Never keep the batteries in the cover when you put it away. Okay, let's turn it on. Listen to that. What amazing music. And it goes into a bit of a display before you even start. You can see. Can you see? Let's, let's have a go. Um, I'm going to press the start button. You get the music again, give you a bit of excitement. Uh, and then it's very simple shooting game. But like Galaxians, some of those guys will come down and get you. I love the pause, there's like a little glitchy pause every time the shot goes. It's like, oh, the computer's got to think about what to do. Not every, not every hit. Oh, I'm going to get one of the flyers. Yes! Oh, you see the pause then. It's like, uh, 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 it's struggling. That's probably why I played it on the toilet. In Japan, Epoch released Astro Wars as Super Galaxian, but only on the box. The game has the same Astro Wars branding on the unit itself. The electronics retailer Radio Shack owned the rights to produce their own version of Astro Wars, but strangely never did, leading Epoch to release the game in the USA as the confusingly titled Galaxy 2. Forty years later, and avid retro hunters are still searching for the mythical Galaxy 1. Of course I don't play this on the toilet anymore. Uh, scramble, much better, Grandstand Scramble. Um, I like the fact that I'm dropping bombs at the same time as dropping bombs, if you know what I mean. Astro Wars did live on with a 1984 Japanese cartridge version of the game released for Epoch's own Super Cassette Vision console. Epoch the company would go on to introduce the world to Doramon and Sylvadian families. 
So yeah, basically just a quick one really, just to say Grandstand Astro Wars, the perfect game for playing on the toilet. Until next time, retro gamers. Games.